My name is Delilah Montoya and I have been a long resident of Albuquerque. My family comes from northern New Mexico, the Las Vegas area on my mother's side. You know, e even though I've lived in Albuquerque for well over 30 years, I also had a teaching position in Houston and I taught, you know, basically Los Angeles, also in western Massachusetts. So I have kind of a I've been a kind of a voice for the, the culture here in, in uh, New Mexico because I, I kind of bring that with me everywhere that I go. You know, I really kind of started off with the Chicano movement. I became familiar with, um, you know, the issues that were going on during, you know, in terms of like the packing houses and the beet fields and I learned a lot about uh, what was going on in Denver, Denver, Colorado with the Brown Berets. My mother had, uh, we had a long history with Denver. You know, most people in New Mexico were like working in the fields in Denver and things like that. So, I mean, so I kind of like knew a lot of those issues that were going on. One of the things that I became involved with by, you know, just association with different um, Chicano poets. And also I became interested in the Chicano artists that were doing work at that time and so I really kind of like picked up a lot of the issues of the movimiento and, and that really has been the way in which that I've been framing my artwork, you know, from really the beginning. Right, well you know the thing is is that my work isn't, you know, just about photography. My work is really you know, in many ways, kind of cultural studies, but I was using photography to kind of like get to the ideas of documentary. And documentary was something that I was like uneasy about, you know, from, from, from kind of like that, that, that point of viewing. In other words, documentary comes from, you know, the so-called outsider perspective. In my estimation, they, they weren't really getting things right. You know, and so what I wanted to do was to kind of like take that camera and take control of the camera and take control of you know, our own narrative. And I was very, very conscious of the, of the double narrative, right? There was my, my mother's life, um, you know, where she worked in the fields and she wasn't able to, um, you know, sit anywhere she wanted in a, in a movie house. Um, my grandfather, you know, shoveled coal for all, all his life to, um, fuel a power plant, but he went home to no electricity, right? And it, so it's those double narratives that I was just kind of like looking at and, and kind of reflecting on and trying to understand like, how did that happen? You know, I think one of the reasons why I became so involved with uh, the movimiento is that how so much of the times growing up you are you get involved with double narratives right and a lot of my early work was kind of devised around that and, and thinking about those things um, my later work is when i began to realize like so much happened during the colonial period right and and so much of the what happened during the colonial period really reflects what we understand now. And, and, and this is where all those other double narratives start showing up. And it's because of that colonial period of time where the double narratives really took hold, right? As I started looking at what I was doing, so many projects that I did involved the Albuquerque community. I mean, all the people that you see, all the portraits that you see are people from Albuquerque. So, you know, that's why I, in many ways I became the ambassador for Albuquerque because, I mean, all of that work is going out throughout the country and, and they're, they're all, you know, Burke. It's all Burke. Albuquerque is on a good trajectory. It's, it's actually excellent and I think there's some really wonderful roads that are being laid out. Um, so don't stop now. When I, I, you know, I got the call and the email about the Creative Bravo Award, I'm like, 
oh my God, this is like a, a wonderful homecoming. You know, like my community took notice of what it is that I was doing, you know, and, and, and let me know that they were proud of me. You know, many times as an artist, you just kind of work in your little cubby holes and you've got, you know, I have these ideas. I mean, it's always these ideas that I have, you know, and, and whether or not I can like execute it and, and, and get it out, right? You never, you know, think about that people are watching, you know, and I felt very proud of the fact that Albuquerque was watching. You know, so it's like, thank you. Thank you for that.